Am I the butthole for convincing my stepdaughter to not sign a deal? My stepdaughter, female, 24, runs an Instagram page slash YouTube channel with a decent amount of following. She makes some money of it and her father wanted her to sign up with an agency. He had done most of the work, and she had a contract in hand. She asked me to take a look at it. I am not a lawyer but I have taken part in some business negotiations. The document was biased against her. They got control over any IP she created, more than half the cut of all her earnings and their marketing commitment was very vaguely defined. The only benefit of the contract was a 35k upfront payment for signing up but which had to be paid back if she failed to meet their content production targets. It was a deal where her upside was limited while their downside was protected. I told her that this deal was crap and she could do much better than whatever this company offered just by working on her own. She is a smart girl, and she decided not to sign up. She really doesn't care. She is making money to support herself and do what she likes and has no one to go viral. Her father hates that I interfered in his relationship with his daughter. Her mother, my wife, is not happy either was as she doesn't want my daughter to be self-employed. I feel a bit guilty as I did not mince words when I described the deal. I was furious and the ensuing fallout between her dad and her has strained their relationships. I feel like, I poured fire on a family feud. Her father is mad at me for poking my head where it belongs and upstaging him, he doesn't like me a lot anyway as he hates that fact his ex-wife married a woman. My wife is myth that I am encouraging her to continue this career. Not the butthole. She asked me to take a look. This right here means there is no way that you could ever be in butthole. Your adult stepdaughter asked you to look at something for her and you did, in good faith. You didn't go out looking to cause a rift, and you didn't stick your nose where it didn't belong. She asked and you were honest with her. That's all that happened here. The fact that both her parents seem okay with a company taking advantage of her is far more concerning to me honestly. On top of that if the person that it's a major contract that impacts the daughter's future which, on top of not completely understanding what she might sign, is enough reason to hire a lawyer to check it out. Even if it's a good and friendly agency the important fact is that they had it drafted by a lawyer and usually some kind of legal team so there might be terms that are negotiable to make both partners happy in the long run instead of having to renegotiate at a later point to the disadvantage to one party and potentially burning bridges. Most of those influencer management companies are absolute scams. I've seen a few videos relatively popular people posted about how they're essentially trapped in those contracts without a real way to get out. The vague things promised are vague for a reason. The company ends up not actually doing anything while happily collecting half their income. The contracts usually last years as well. How do these companies do it? They rope in people looking to expand their careers who have heard that a manager can do great things for you. Long-term contracts means if they sign enough up-and-comers, one will be a hit which then is advertising for the company if we represent famous person. Then it turns into one of those crafty rom-coms that's packed with A-lister who only joined because of the one original star before seeing the script. Every up-and-comer wants to sign and now they're all trapped. Yep. There's a guy on YouTube who goes through the contracts for shows like The Voice, Britain's Got Talent, America's Got Talent, X Factor, etc. The contestants have to sign, and examines it clause by clause. There's so much BS in those contracts about how the company now owns your social media output, can control your social media output, even if it's something like a photo of you at grandma's birthday, and the stuff you produced even before entering if you used it in your audition, like a song you wrote yourself. Edit, the channel is Mess Music TV on YouTube. A British guy who usually has dyed hair, like pink or blue. Edit 2, here are the videos. Here's the one for Britain's Got Talent. The Voice UK, The Voice USA, I can't find the X Factor one, I thought he did one for that, web link. Yeah I was happy Adam Lambert came in second. I was not happy he lost especially to someone whose name I keep forgetting, no offense Alan Jones? But he got to pick his record label, so I was happy he didn't wind up under Cowell and company always have a lawyer look at the contract. A lawyer solely working for you. I learned as much from the social network. I remember Chris Daughtry's debut album broke a ton of records when it was released. He came in fourth place. Not coming in first doesn't always save you. One Direction came in third, which, I think the top spot was stolen from them, to make them more open to manipulation. 
Simon absolutely has run the boys ragged and controlled every part of their lives and will continue to control a large part of their images, throughout the universe, until the heat death of the universe, even when they aren't under psycho any longer, participants of the show grant to producer the unconditional right throughout the universe in perpetuity to use, simulate or portray, and authorize others, or to refrain using, simulating or portraying, the act, name, likeness, voice, singing voice, personality, personal identification or personal experiences, life story, basically anything about you in connection with the program and the advertising or in any manner whatsoever. There's also been some big animal YouTubers who signed up with agencies who had their channels and branding taken away from them because of some minor clause in their contracts, such as coal and marmalade and cream heroes. The agencies just wanted the brand after it was built up and kicked the owner out of the process entirely. The owner of Cole and Marmalade managed to get his channel back after a lawsuit, but the owner of Cream Heroes had to start over on Kitasaurus. Web link. Check out what JLM Bridal did to Haley Page, Gutman, a former designer of theirs. They've taken control of all of her personal social media and have even taken her name and are now going after her so. She warns about reading contracts now. She got effed over, signed some bad contracts and when she tried to leave, JLM went after her and now owns half her life, profitable personal social media pages, and she lost her effing name, they legally control it now and she can't use it. She's having to legally get a new name. Insanity that a judge agreed to that. She made a new Instagram call that will fag litter on the gram where she posts updates. It's insanely effed up. Original poster definitely saved her stepdaughter from a lot of bullcrap. Haley Page was exactly where my mind went. It's her actual name. I can understand not using her name as a brand but it's still her name. People around her should still be able to call her Haley Page. It's so crazy to me that they can legally do that but they can and did. Your stepdaughter asked your opinion and signing a bad contract could be a years long disaster. You did the right thing. Not the butthole. Wow, flushed face. Not the butthole, she asked me to look that's it. That's the whole thing right there. Just keep parroting that. Every time her father or mother or anyone else says anything, just calmly repeat she asked me to look. This. If your stepdaughter literally asked you, and you gave your honest opinion, you are not the butthole. The fact that both her parents seem okay with a company taking advantage of her is far more concerning to me honestly. The way I read it, the mom, original poster's wife, doesn't want her doing the account at all at least as a way of something the stepdaughter counts on to generate income. I can see the logic in that approach. A lot of internet gigs are easy come, easy go and it's a big risk, especially if stepdaughter wants to say this is how I support myself now. But there are a considerable number of people earning a respectable, and sometimes very lucrative, income as social media personalities. One of the ones I follow is pretty open about the fact that even before she launched her own product line, which routinely sells out any collection that she releases, she was making quite a chunk of money off her monetized YouTube videos. She kept her day job for a long time after she didn't need to, though I'm not sure she still does. Not the butthole. You really gave her good advice. Do they know what contract she was signing? Pretty sure they don't care and just got dollar signs in their eyes when they saw the $35,000 upfront payment. Original poster being the girl's stepmother doesn't stand to gain anything financially so she is able to review the contract in a more unbiased fashion. Relatively speaking 35k is barely a year's worth of salary to put out and produce a ton of content while making less over time since you are giving a huge cut to the company of anything you do make. Then if you somehow fail you suddenly have to pay the 35k back? Which is the only honestly relatively small perk from this back? Nope not the butthole great job saving your daughter from this terrible deal. Right, it sounds more like they give her a loan than anything. Yup, a loan to do what she was already doing in the first place. So, working harder just to break even. Not the butthole by a mile. I think the father did not care about the interests of the daughter, just the upfront payment, he is either an idiot or a scammer, I cannot decide. The mother is focused on making the daughter fail. It sounds as though the mother sees it as job security to work for someone else, it can be load risk, but in this case it sounds like a scam. 
not the butthole. She asked you to take a look, you did, gave your opinion, and she decided to not to sign. Personally, given the dad's reaction, I'm wondering how much he actually stood to gain from her signing. He probably already had planned what to do with the 35k. That she would have to pay back if she didn't meet their production targets, that in and of itself is fishy language to me. That in and of itself is fishy language to me. YouTube multi-channel networks, McKenns, are pretty scummy and parasites. Pretty much any major YouTuber has had horror stories about breaking free of them. It takes years and tons of money to get rid of them. The best thing to do is not get involved in them in the first place. They make all these promises about what they will do for you, and none of them are meaningful compared to the cut you take. You are far better off building your own audience and monetizing on your own, finding your own sponsors, collabs with other creators, Patreon, merchandise, etc. And if they go under, you're pretty well effed because your channel is considered an asset to be distributed by the lawyers. When Defy Media went under, I had friends who couldn't work for months because their channel was frozen until it was bought by another group. Luckily they were able to negotiate a buyback of their IP from the new company, but it was a nightmare. Not the butthole she asked for your honest opinion and you gave it. Also, the fact she came to you for advice implies you are doing something right as a step-parent. I do not think you telling her to avoid signing a crap deal is encouraging her in this path but rather protecting her from being taken advantage and forced into it. Edit, a word. My phone put in art and not path. Laughing out loud. Not the butthole. Your stepdaughter is an adult and asked for your advice, it doesn't seem like your opinion was unsolicited. If the deal was crap then it was crap and it seems she ultimately made the decision herself. Her dad can be annoyed all he wants but again, she's an adult. She has no obligation to do what her dad wants and if he is pissy enough to let her decision making strain the relationship then that's on him. Also, whilst your wife might not want her daughter to be self-employed it isn't her decision. Parents don't get to choose their child's career path. Edit, I am curious about this deal that her dad made. Would it have benefited him in some way? Yes, this. I am curious about why her father wanted her to sign the contract. Also, why does her mother not want her daughter to be self-employed? I wonder why her mother doesn't understand that she would still be self-employed. She would just be contractually obligated to someone else. Not the butthole. I used to work with an agency that managed influencers and that was a predatory contract she was about to sign. 10 to 20% of income is standard for management, and she is the only one who should own her content and IP, except in the case of a brand partnerships, where the brand may want to share ownership or usage rights on the content created for them, so they can reuse it on their native channels. And they should pay extra for that privilege. No reputable agency would ask for a contract like that. Not the butthole. She asked you to look over it and advise her and you obliged. Good on you for looking out for her by being honest about the deal. I bet her father didn't even read much past the 35k upfront payout. Not the butthole. You are the only adult in this family actually looking out for her best interests instead of worrying about your bruised ego or what you want her to do with her life. It's not about you guys it's about her, as you well know. Screw both of them. Keep looking out for her, someone clearly needs to. From this description it sounds like you did not interfere, but that stepdaughter had her doubts and asked for a second opinion. It's odd that her own father apparently wants to screw over, financially, his child. And the anger he has is not so much about the alleged intrusion, but rather for missing out on a financial bonus? Guessing here, now, as to the wife, that's different, but you could when both are calm, present the case that it's better to be self-employed, than bound by a contract with several very negative options for her daughter. I see this not so much as encouraging her career but rather help her realize her gut feeling was right, and pointing out why it was right. So, the only issue you have is make peace with your wife, and keep supporting the stepdaughter here, as it seems her father does not have her best interests at heart. Not the butthole. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends.
We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.